guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Kayla, also known as Thrifty Mom of Two here on this YouTube channel. And I'm a full-time reseller. I sell on Poshmark Mercari and on eBay. And today I have a thrift store haul video to share with you guys. So I have some hard goods, some shoes, and lots of clothing that I picked up to sell in my online stores. I am going to go ahead and start with the hard goods, then move on to the shoes and clothing. I don't have very many hard goods, so I'm just going to show you guys those first. Um, but I did go to two different thrift stores. So I did go to an Angel View thrift store um, near me. So this is kind of what their logo looks like. And then I did go to a Goodwill. So the Angel View, um, everything was full price, but the prices at that thrift store are better typically than my local Goodwill. And then at Goodwill, they were running sales on uh, two different color tags. So there was one color tag that was 25% off and one color tag that was 50% off. So um, I was able to get a few good deals. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna show you guys the hard goods. So this I actually just picked up for myself. It's just a little um, hanging wall shelf and it's just a single one. I was hoping to find two of these. I did only find one, but I do have the perfect spot on my wall to put this. Um, this was $3.99, but I do believe that was one of the tags that um, was a discount. I can't remember if that was 25% or um, 50. I think that one was the white tags were 25% off. Okay, the next thing I got was super cute. This is actually already listed in my Poshmark closet. It's this little like gold plated metal seashell dish. I think it's like a soap dish, but can definitely be used um, as like a little trinket dish for your rings or jewelry. But look at the floral um, detail on this. Absolutely gorgeous. The um, little bottom parts here are also flowers. And this is stamped on the bottom. It's stamped Matson, I believe, and it says made in the USA. I doubt you guys are gonna be able to see it, but it is stamped there. So super cute. I found a Starbucks mug, which I actually just collect these. So this I will probably keep for myself. It is a Christmas themed one. It has um, little snowflakes and Christmas trees on it. Um, I do have like a mug wall, so I'll probably just keep this and put it out on my mug wall um, during the Christmas time. This was $1.99. Okay, these are super cute. I love finding really cute kind of kitschy um, vintage home decor. So this is a set of six. They're little bookends, um, but they're little spice uh, shakers which I thought is really cute. So they are ceramic. So there's pepper, allspice, cinnamon, nutmeg, clove, and salt. So stinking cute. One of them is missing the little cork in the bottom, but I will just note that in the listing. Those are easy to replace. And I paid $2.99 for this whole set. Okay, and then I got a couple little ceramic like canisters. These are so cute. So these actually came as a set. Um, and they were the half off tags. So they originally marked $5.99, but I paid $3, so $1.50 each. And these are vintage. They are from 1998. It says My Garden by Carrie Sutter on the bottom. And this one is the iris flower. There's a little iris on the top. And then this one is the tulip. And then I thought these were really cute because it does have like care instructions, how to care for the flowers, when to plant them, how much light and the water they need, all of that kind of stuff on the back, um, which I just thought was neat. So I think I'm gonna sell those as a set. And then I did get another set of canisters, but these ones, um, I think I'm actually just going to keep because they are pretty large and I just feel like they would be really hard to ship all together. Um, but I love these. I love the glazing on them. They are also vintage. Beautiful, like neutral colors. These are by Sango, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. And this is the splash pattern. So this is the little one. I paid $2.99 for this little one. And then there's a medium size. Absolutely beautiful. Same thing on the bottom. And this one was $3.99. And then the 
large one. And this one was $4.99. I did hear like that little noise. So when I opened it, um, there is a little piece that chipped on the inside here. I'm gonna try to just glue that back on, but it is on the inside. It's not, you know, visible, nothing major. For the most part, these are in excellent condition. Okay, so let's move on to shoes. I found two pairs of shoes, um, which I was really happy about because typically they mark the shoes up a lot so they're pretty pricey but these ones um i thought were pretty reasonably priced some of you guys may think that they are still pretty pricey but again i live in california the thrift store prices are definitely a lot different than when i lived back in colorado um so i've kind of had to adjust to that but there's still there still are really good deals and um they do have you know color tag sales and i just have to get a little bit pickier with the brands that i pick up so um, you know, you just adapt to, I guess, where you live and what you have available to you. But these are a really good brand. So these actually retail for over $200. I'm probably going to list these around like $65 to $75. The brand is Ash. You can see it in there. I have sold this brand once before, and they were really cute little black boots. Not this exact style, but they did sell very quickly. So I was excited to find these. These are a genuine black suede kind of western style with a little block heel they are in amazing condition there is some minor wear on the bottom they do have a leather sole um, but nothing terrible and these ones are size 38 which i believe is um probably about a seven and a half to eight i'll have to check their size chart and i paid 8.99 for these so not too bad and then the other pair of shoes I got, I love, love this style. I wish these were my size. So these are J slides, which I don't pick up all the time, but I love, loved these ones. So they are like a silver metallic kind of reptile print in really good condition, but I love the platform sneakers and I love this. I think they call it a shark bite um, sole. So kind of like that zigzag pattern. There is a little bit of wear just, um, you know, from somebody wearing them outside, but nothing terrible. I haven't even tried to clean these yet. Most of this will probably wipe right off. And these are a size seven and a half. And I paid $8.99 for these as well. Super cute. Okay. So at the Angel View, I did find a couple really good brands, but I also just picked up a bunch of like random kind of quirky pieces. Um, my phone would not work inside of the store, so I wasn't able to look up any of these brands. And when I was there, um, it was pretty close to close, closing time, so they were kind of like rushing people to get out of there. Um, so I didn't even really sort through my cart very much. I just kind of bought everything that I had already grabbed. And yeah, so I have some new to me brands in here. A lot of these were style based pickups, but I am really happy. I think um, a lot of these will still do really well. Okay, so this first one, this is Feathers by Tilani, which I actually have sold Tilani before. They make a lot of silk, really pretty fun, like boho silk pattern tops. Um, this one is just polyester. I know that sometimes Tolani can be sold um, through Anthropology. I couldn't verify where this piece was sold. I couldn't find it online. I did try to look. So if you do know the style name of this top, definitely let me know in the comments down below. But I did love the color uh, pattern on this. I think it's so fun. And I think it'll photograph really well. This one is a size small. Okay, I picked this one up based off of style. So I have never sold this brand, um, but I did like the size as well. So like I mentioned um, in my past couple of videos, I am trying to broaden my size range in my closet. So this is the brand, it's called Romans, which I'm not actually even sure where that's sold at. Um, excuse my nails. I was peeling um, stickers off of some of like the hard goods and some items and I chipped 
my nails, but this hand looks good. This one's crappy. Um, anyways, this is a size 24 and it's this really pretty like halter neck, floral embroidered blouse, really flowy. It kind of reminds me of Free People. Um, it definitely looks like a piece Free People would make and it's in this really cool kind of like tie dye, um, like a sage green tie dye color. Just a really beautiful top and it feels like really nice quality. It is lined. So I grabbed that. This, I have no idea if this was a good pickup or a dud. I just really like the style of this. The brand is Como Vintage, size medium, but it's this really soft kind of star print sweater dress. It definitely is lightweight, so it could be worn even now. It has these cute little bell sleeves with the tie there. And I just thought this was so fun and cute. If this doesn't sell, I will definitely wear this. Um, this would even make like a good like little sweater dress to wear to bed, like a little good nightgown. Okay, this one I was debating on whether I should take it back. They are allowing returns as long as the item still has the tags there and you bring them back within three days. I picked this up because this is a pretty expensive brand. However, it does not sell well for me, but I don't know. I still picked it up anyways, but then when I got home, it is a two-piece set. I realized that it is two different sizes. So it is a suit set. It's a pair of pants, like trouser pants. They are kind of like a blue, blue and black. They kind of have like a stripe pattern to them. But this is, the brand is Lafayette 148. However, these pants are a size four. And the blazer that goes with it is a size eight. And I didn't check that in the store, so I don't know. I can, I could probably list them separately, sell the blazer and then sell the pants, or I don't know. I might take them back. They are really, really nice. Like I said, though, just a very slow mover for me, so I'm not sure. I did pay $12.99 for this set, so... I'll have to look up comps and decide whether I want to keep that or take it back. Swimsuits have been selling really well for me. Um, I just shipped one out the other day. I sold a Trina Turk swimsuit, I think around like 40, I want to say around like $45 or something like that. Um, but this was $4.99 for this swimsuit. It's a two piece, just your classic black swimsuit and this is by the brand Kalia by Carrie Underwood so that's the little symbol it kind of looks like the Poshmark symbol to me um, but just really cute and then the bottoms are black with the little logo on the back as well and these are both a size small okay this next piece is really fun I believe this is vintage I don't know much about this brand but it is Susan Bristol that's the tag this is a size small, but it is so fun. It reminds me of like those granny, like crochet knit um, table runners or like they would, you know, they would, um, would put them on top of like their dressers and stuff like that. Um, I forget what they're called, but yeah, that's what it reminds me of. Really pretty little floral cardigan. This would also look super cute, like layered over a swimsuit but just so fun and unique. I love finding like fun, unique pieces like that. Uh, this is just a good bread and butter piece. Athleta, I love selling Athleta. This is a size extra large, so it's also a really good size. And it's just a black tank top with like some sheer mesh stripes throughout. And it's in amazing condition. It honestly doesn't feel like it's really been washed very much at all. The logo on the back looks great. So I always check to see if the logo is peeling on athletic wear. And if it is, I will typically leave it behind. Okay, I have never picked this brand up before. I have seen other resellers pick this up. I have found it a few times, but some of the pieces that I found were either too worn 
or they just seemed really outdated but I did really like this piece so um, I went ahead and grabbed it but this is the Sigwell the Sigwell I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly put it on the screen but I love this little dress so it's like a jersey knit dress and it has this like postcard travel theme all over it it's so fun this is just perfect for traveling. It's comfy, cozy, soft, just an easy like throw on and go outfit. It does have this little tie in the front. And I believe this retails for around $100. So I think I'm going to list this one around $45. I paid $6.99 for this. Next we have a Free People dress. I just thought this was really pretty. So it's like this dark purple with a silver metallic kind of Aztec boho pattern, little mini dress. It has these sheer flutter sleeves. And you guys know I love selling free people. I am picky with the pieces, but I do love selling um, their dresses. And um, yeah, I just kind of decide like style based whether or not I think it will sell. And that's how I pick my like, free people pieces. But I really did like this dress top um, I also picked up this is from Angel View as well and this was kind of a style based pickup I don't know much about this brand but it's this cute burnout tank top that says world tour on the front with a little heart I love like the cut of this tank top I think it's super cute nice and lightweight and flowy but this is the brand I thought the tag looked really nice um, it's called what is it called it broke down and this is a size extra small. It's definitely a little oversized and flowy. Could probably definitely fit a small as well. But yeah, I just thought that was really cute. And then I got some jeans. This is a pair of J brand jeans, which I, which I don't pick up all the time, but I did really like this style. And these are in amazing condition. So they are, I believe they are a mid or high rise. And they also are a good size. So these are a size 30. Let's see if the style. These are the Capri Mid Rise. And yeah, they are really cute and great condition. Okay, this next top is by Zara, which I have been getting a little bit pickier with the Zara pieces I pick up. I will still definitely pick it up um, because it does sell, but I definitely pick it up based off of style, condition, and price so I won't pay too much for it if it is like half off or um, like in this case I really like the style and it is new with tags which is why I picked this one up um, so I'm just very very selective with the brand this one is a size small but I love this top so it's like a sequin shiny blouse with like the sheer mesh on the top I just think this is so perfect for like an evening out or a holiday party um, yeah, I think this, if this doesn't sell now, I definitely think it will sell around the holiday season. Okay, this was another vintage style-based pickup. I don't know anything about this brand. I do think this is vintage. The tag says Tia Designs, but it is a size 1X, so I did like the size, and it's really cute. So it's like this denim like lightweight kind of chambray button up top but it has these really pretty embroidered daisies and little ladybugs on the front which I thought was so fun there are a few flaws on this which I noticed when I got home um, no nothing on the top itself but a few of the buttons are supposed to have little like jewels inside of them and a few of them are missing but all of the buttons are still there so I think I was thinking about t returning it, but I think I'm still going to go ahead and try to sell it. And I'll just note that a few of the buttons are missing the rhinestones because I just think this piece is so cute and would be such a great like layering piece. Next top was another style based pickup. I think it's very um, on trend. I have heard other resellers talk about this brand, but I have never picked it up or sold it. Um, the brand is Mindset by XCVI. So that's what the tag looks like. But tie-dye is very on trend right now. This is like a super flowy, 
cotton tie-dye tunic. It is longer length, could definitely be worn as maybe like a mini dress or a beach cover-up as well. I love the tie-dye colors on here with like the teal and the blue. And this one is a size large. This jacket I actually might keep. I love leopard print. I know leopard print sells pretty well, um, but I just really like this jacket. So I grabbed this for myself. The brand is Rachel Zoe, but it's this cute like leopard print knit jacket. I did check comps on this just to see, and I did see some that um, sold for around $40 for this. So if I decide not to keep it, I would probably list it around that. Okay, you guys, this is my most exciting find of the day. I found this also at Angel View. I was so excited. And I actually, this is a skirt. I actually almost passed or skipped the skirt section. And I'm so happy I didn't uh, because this is probably my best find of the day. But this is Johnny Was, which I have only sold maybe three or four pieces ever sold and thrifted three or four pieces ever by Johnny was. Um, but yeah, this is absolutely beautiful. It is this silk mixed pattern floral, super flowy maxi skirt. And this one is a size small. I do think it could probably fit a medium as well because this is um, elastic at the waist here and it is like really flowy. Um, it does, it is lined, so there is a lining on the inside, and it is 100% silk, so super excited about this find. I just think this is so beautiful. Okay, guys, so that was all of the clothing items from Angel View, and then the next clothing items that I'm going to show you guys were all from Goodwill. This first one um, I actually got for myself as well, but I figured if I didn't like the fit, I could still sell it. This is Under Armour. And it's this really nice kind of like army green vest, which I love athletic, like layering pieces like this. I pretty much live in comfy clothes and athletic wear. And this is an amazing condition. It honestly feels like it has never really been washed. I did pay $5.99 for this, but yeah, if I don't keep it, I think I can still um, sell it probably around like the $20, $25 range. This I thought was fun. So this is Jurassic World and I looked this up online. This was actually sold on Hot Topic and I think it retailed around $49. Um, but it's this really cool like Jurassic World like Ranger button up shirt and it has like the dinosaur like scratches or distressing on the back. It has the little dinosaur prints on the inside. I just thought this was so fun. It would be fun for Halloween or like if you went to Universal Studios or something like that, this would be cool to wear. Okay, I don't pick up this brand often to sell, but I did really like these, so I grabbed them. This is Pink by Victoria's Secret. It's very saturated. Um, it doesn't sell for a whole lot. Certain pieces can. But um, for the most part, it, you know, I, I won't typically pick it up. But I did really like this pair of joggers, like loungewear. So it's a pair of black and gray, but it does say Los Angeles on the butt. And then it has this little lace up detail on the leg. And athletic and loungewear has just been selling really good for me. So I went ahead and grabbed these. They are a size small and I paid $4.99 for them. So I think they should probably sell between $20, $25 is what I'm guessing on those. Okay, this needs a good lint roll, but it is a really pretty dress. Um, this is J by J Crew, which I think is their new factory label, I believe. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that is J Crew factory. Um, it is a size 12, so I did like the size. It's this navy dress it has this like wrap around detail i had to look up the model photo because i wasn't sure how that actually looked but it is a newer style so i think this is from a recent season which is why i grabbed it 
Yeah, it's from spring of 2019, so just last year, and it does look really cute on the model. Okay, this was another really exciting find for me. Um, I saw multiple of these listed for over $100. I actually listed mine for a little bit less. I think some of the ones I saw listed were new with tags and mine's not. I want to say I listed this at $65, um, but this is an Aritzia brand. It's Wilfred, and this is called like the front to back or front back sweater or something like that. It's this really super soft knit sweater with these cute little button details, but this sweater can actually be worn like a cardigan with the v-neck in the front, or you can flip it around and wear it where it buttons up the back and you have like a cute little v-neck in the back. And it's a really pretty like cream ivory color. I think that's, yeah, that one's a size small. Um, these I grabbed because they were new with tags and Swim is doing well for me right now. I didn't know this brand, but I did see that these retailed for $78 just for the bottom. So I figured um, these should probably do well. This The brand is Swim Systems. Swim Systems, yeah, size large. New with tags, super cute, swim shorts. I know some people prefer like the, the little boy shorts like this just for some added coverage, but I liked the really pretty like floral pattern on this. It kind of reminds me of like Johnny Was or something like that, just the print. Really fun, it has the little metal logo on the back. The liner on the inside did come out, so it's not in there but um yeah they are still new with tags so i just noted that in my listing okay another pair of jeans i don't pick up this brand all the time i will pick it up at the bins or like on dollar days but i made an exception for this pair because it is new without tags and these jeans typically sell pretty fast for me so these are american eagle this is the super stretch um Denim, so very very stretchy they kind of have like that sailor button look in the front um, there is no tags on there but it does still have the little size sticker which is how I know it's new without tags because I don't think somebody would wear it with that still on there these are a size 10 and they're in an extra short size which I thought was nice um, and they're a wide leg fit so again a quick and easy 20 to 25 bucks. This brand I've gotten pretty picky with, but I did look up this style and this was actually sold on Revolve and there are really cute model picks. So I went ahead and grabbed this. It's also a really good size. So this is splendid. It's a size extra large and it's this ribbed knit long cardigan. Super cute. Again, another brand that I'm picky with, but I will pick, pick it up if I like the style. This is Topshop. And this one is a size US2, but it's this super cozy mock neck, um, like teddy sweater. So not in season right now, because this is like really thick, but this is a perfect fall and winter piece. So cute and cozy definitely my style. I love living in cozy sweaters like this. However, now that I live in California, I probably won't need anything like this thick. But if I still lived back in Colorado, I probably would keep that for myself. Um, this next one is also a newer J. Crew piece. So this is their newer um, tag with the cursive J. Crew. This is a size large really nice knit cardigan in a dark navy blue it does have a tie like waist belt that goes around and i think this one is from yeah this is from spring of 2019 as well so probably donated by the same person as the dress okay and this is the last piece i actually just grabbed this for myself so nothing too exciting um, it's just an Adidas hoodie. I loved the colors on the front. Kind of looks like what I have on. Um, 
but again it's a size small so I figured it would fit me if it if I didn't like it at all I could still definitely sell this um I think I paid $4.99 for this hoodie so definitely a good deal this is a lightweight one too which I really like Okay, and real quickly, you guys, I wanted to show you these cups I picked up. I also thrifted these. Um, I decided to keep them, but they're like blown glass, like the bubble glass with little starfish on them. So cute. I'm drinking out of one right now. I actually got four of these. Um, I was going to sell them, but then I decided <laughs> I wanted to keep them. But yeah, that is everything that I have to show you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this haul. If you did, please give it a thumbs up on your way out. Also, make sure you're subscribed to this channel. Hit that little bell notification down below so you get notified when I post new videos. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a great week and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.